Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Gum. Uh, your STEM challenge today will be to create a roller coaster with nothing more than scissors, tape, paper, and the marble that I just dropped on the floor or some little ball bearing like this. Now it took me a while to get mine to work so it's gonna take a little grit and determination to make that happen. Hang on while I grab my marble. There it is. Um, the reason roller coasters work is because of energy. And I'm not talking about electricity. I'm just talking about mechanical energy. And when you take your marble, and eighth graders should know this. So when your marble is up here at the top of your roller coaster, which you will need to start with something like this so you can get some momentum. When it is sitting up here ready to go, it has potential energy, and that is stored energy, which is the energy that it has to potentially do something amazing, just like that. When it is in motion, that is called kinetic energy. So it took me all the way until this morning, and I've been working on this for a little while, to really get it to work. So here is what it looks like, hopefully, when the marble starts at the top of the roller coaster right here. And it's gonna take off, it's gonna go through a loop, and it almost made it all the way across this little hump that I made. So it has the top, which if you've been on a roller coaster, this is how they start. You get taken up to the top of it, and then you zip down to the bottom. I made a loop-de-loop, -loop, and then I made a piece of track that is just a quick little bridge, I guess. Um, I ended up attaching mine to cardboard to make it stick. I've also got it taped to the table right now. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make all the little parts of this, and it didn't make it that time, but uh, it was making it, I promise. Um, I'm going to show you how to make all the little parts that you need to make a paper roller coaster. And I would love to see videos of what you get made and hopefully if your marble works better than mine did. So what you're going to need, you're going to take your piece of paper, just a regular, I grabbed a colored piece of paper and I, as you can see, I used several different colors for mine. But you're going to start out by folding it into fourths and you're gonna fold it into fourths like this. So a long ways like this. And then you're gonna do the same kind again. So you've got what looks like a really long skinny piece of paper. Okay, then you're gonna use that, crease it up good. And I'm not a really great scissorer. But what you'll do then is you're going to cut your piece of paper along those lines that you just folded to make all the parts. Okay, first I'm gonna show you how to make the supports for it. Um, and when I say supports, I mean these pieces right here. And I found out early on that you're gonna need to put a couple of them in here. Otherwise your piece of paper bends and you lose that potential energy. So what you do to make the supports, you're just gonna roll the piece of paper and I'm gonna Pre-roll it a little bit here. And you're going to make basically a little tube. Grab some tape. And tape that together. I want that to be a little bit smaller of a tube because that makes it stronger. Okay. 
So I'm going to tape my tube down in a few different places. All right, as you can see, this one's a lot longer. I used a couple of, I cut this apart a little bit to use it in different spots on here. So I'm gonna decide, actually I I'd, I'd kind of made it at different times how I wanted it to be. So now what you're gonna do, once you, once you get it about the length that you want it, you're going to cut little ends here. So here's one, two, three, four. And then when you bend those out, you can use those pieces on either end to tape it down to your cardboard or to your table, whatever you, uh, however you decide to make that strengthen up. I don't know if you can see that. So you could tape that down. And then you'll do the other end too. So you can tape it to the bit of track that you're wanting to hold up with the support. So this is how you make the supports and you just bend those down and you can tape them to the underside. You can see these sticking out that I have on this one. I just knocked one out because I did not put the ends on. That's why this one falls out. So you can tape that to the inside or the bottom of your track. So that's how you make the supports and you can make them different lengths and you can put as many as you want in here to make sure that you're, you, it stays together. Now, to make the track, you're just going to grab another piece of that paper that you just cut. And the way you're going to fold this is you're going to fold this about to the middle of your paper. I'll pick that up and show you in a moment. And you do the same to the other side so that it opens up like this. So that your bottom, see it folds almost exactly to the middle, almost. Does not have to be perfect. The only thing that you're gonna want is to make sure that this is pretty close to the same size each with each piece of paper that you do that on so that they fit together. All right, so now once you have that folded, you'll unfold it a little bit. And I'm gonna grab my scissors and I'm just gonna make little cuts to the track part. So little cuts along both edges. Okay, don't forget the other side. Okay, this style of cutting it, where you cut it on both sides, is gonna give it that option to bend so that you can make your first big hill for your marble to go down. You can use this to make your loops. So it'll they'll fold in on themselves and you kind of do this to make your loops and you're going to tape these pieces together to make it stronger. Um, you can make a little hill like I did. Um, you can also make curves, but I have not made a curve. So you can make curves with this too. If you want to make a curve for your marble to go on around, a, you know, if you want to make a corner. Um, but that's how you cut up the paper. Now, when you put your, put it together, you're gonna really use some tape because I did not use a lot of tape the first time. I tested it out with my marble and this was real whippy. I mean, it was really um, causing it to lose a lot of energy on those, which is also why I stuck this baby in here to keep that from bending down. And um, I used a lot of tape on this 
So you can see, I mean, I've, I've got it stiffened up a little bit. There's still some play in it, so it's losing some energy as the marble goes down. Um, this was the big thing, though. It'll, it would go down and around the loop, but it wouldn't go up and over the hill because this was really, really weak. And so I've put a lot of pieces of tape over the edge like this. So I stick my little piece of tape on here and then fold it over so that this gets stiffened up. And then I taped everything down to pieces of cardboard like like this piece of cardboard. I just happened to get some bath and body, so I have pretty cardboard. And um, I also taped this bit to the table earlier because it was really moving back and forth. It was making this piece of cardboard move around. Um, so try it out. Send me a video if um, you have success. Send me a video if you don't have success because I have not had perfect success with this yet. We'll see if it works this time. Nope, I didn't even get through the loop that time. So I will have to go back and watch it and figure out um, what where it's losing energy. That's what's happening. It goes from potential to kinetic and then it loses energy as um, this paper moves. So I'll have to go back. I already see a spot where I need to do some more taping. So, yep, not working. I've got some problem. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to work on mine a little bit more. And hopefully you have some fun with this too. And I'll see you guys next week.